Hey guys, Brett S here. I am back with another video, and welcome back to another video about WWE 2K23. Now, yes, uh, before I start my video about on which characters who I want to see in WWE 2K23, so yeah, like I was trying to say, uh, which I had to pause the video. So yes, new trailer of WWE 2K23 three came out just released today now yes we're almost ahead of of the standard edition which comes out on the 17th of march which is like next month and the deluxe edition on the 14th of march now and yes we are i also got uh, this glimpse of this wrestler and that is cora jade she will be part of the game. Which, are you guys excited? Are you guys not excited? Because I'm excited. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the video. Okay, guys. So, yes, uh, since I'm, as y'all been trending about uh, Cuddy Rose's uh, entrance for the past few days since this past Monday, which was just a few days ago. Now, yes, uh... DLC characters. Who do I want to see as the DLC characters? Number one, Johnny Knoxville. Now, yes, Johnny Knoxville only had two matches last year. One at the last year's Royal Rumble from 2022, which was just a year ago. And his last one he just recently had was was uh, At night two of WrestleMania, of uh, last year's WrestleMania. Oh, hold on, car coming. And, um, sorry about that. The car was coming past by me. But, uh, besides the point. Like I said, we need to see Johnny Knoxville. Because we already got Loki Paul. We already got Machine Gun Kelly in last year's game. We're getting Bad Bunny in this year's game. Because he's a pre-order DLC. Number two. Uh... Well, Tyson Fury, you know, that wrestler who punched Austin Theory in the face at Clash of the Castle last year. That's who I want to see. E. Or was it Clash? What's the paper you call Clash of the Castle? I don't remember. That's who I want to see. Imagine you play as him in the game, going one on one with, uh, well. You guessed it. Braun Strowman himself. If Braun Strowman will be in this year's game. Which I highly he doubt it. Number three. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is true. They came back since October, almost four months ago. They should be DLC, because why? Because, uh, you know, Triple H is in charge of the E now. Because of the whole allegations between Mr. McMahon and this other person. But I'm not going to get into that. But yes, the reason why we need them in the game, so you can have AJ Styles, Mia Yim, if Mia Yim will be in this year's game, I, which I hope she is, to make the OC. Am I right or am I wrong? Number four, Wendy Chu. Now, um, yes, someone posted this on social media that we're getting like. New characters in the game, like Hit Row, without Isaiah Surf Scott, because, you know, he's in AEW. Um, Gigi Dolan, Jane JC, you know, her partner from NXT. And maybe, like, right now, uh, Wendy Chu, you know, the girl that were always wearing pajamas on NXT. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. And number five, and certainly not least, um, Roxanne Perez, you know, the new NXT Women's Champion from, who won it back from former WWE, who won it from former WWE wrestler Mandy Rose. She will be good as the DLC. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.